Hey, home girl! welcome to the Girl Just Heal podcast, where together we learn how to navigate our healing journeys in a way that challenges us to destroy limits and break down walls that have been keeping us subject to our trauma. I am your host, your favorite home girl, Nimoya Bazin. And just like you, I am on this healing journey, navigating the ups and downs of this thing called life while simultaneously allowing God to usher me right into the place where he wants me to be. So get comfy, grab your journal, and let's talk about all the ways we can heal, grow, and evolve together. Hey, homegirls. Welcome to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm your favorite homegirl, Nimoya Basin. And Chad, listen. So how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you healing? Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you are doing. It is time for our weekly check-in. And baby, your favorite homegirl wants to know how it is that you are doing. So make sure you check in with me in the comments. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, drop a review, leave a five-star rating. If you're on Spotify, please be sure to use the new comment feature so that I can reply back to you and we can dialogue back and forth. I want to know how your week has been. My week has been okay. I've been pretty good. God is good. I'm just so grateful, so thankful for life, health, and strength. So we're going to go ahead and get into this episode. And first things first, we're going to go over some homegirl announcements. The first being, if you haven't stepped into the homegirl lounge on Patreon, baby, you are missing a treat. So go ahead, head over to patreon.com slash girl just heal so that you can check out our exclusive intimate safe space on Patreon and see if it's a good fit for you. We would love you to step into the homegirl lounge and join us where we just heal, grow and evolve together at our own pace, just on a more intimate level. So if you're interested, the link is down in the description box. I would encourage you just click the link and see if it's a fit for you. See the benefits that you get by joining the community. And I can't wait to see you in the lounge. Okay. So the next homegirl update, make sure y'all go to girljustheal.com. Y'all already know, get your merch, get your prayer cards, get your journal, just get all things Girl Just Heal and also learn about who we are and what we do. Again, that is girljustheal.com. That link is also in the description of this episode. And our final homegirl announcement, y'all know the Girls Just Hill Conference is happening in under a month. Under a month away, we are having the Girl Just Hill Conference 2024. If you don't have your tickets, go ahead and grab your tickets. The link is in the description, or you can just head over to girljusthill.com, click on the conference tab, and it is going to take you and let you know everything you need to know about Girl Just Hill Conference. I can't wait to meet y'all in the room. This is going to be such an amazing time in the Lord, and I'm ready. I'm ready, y'all. I'm so ready. So make sure you go ahead and grab your tickets for the Girl Just Hill Conference. So we are going to go ahead and get into the episode. I am going to shout out a homegirl. Y'all know we shout out homegirls on our episodes. And so we're going to shout out a homegirl. And let's see where we going, where we going, where we going. (laughs) So this review comes from Deshae K. And it's titled Healing and a Lot of Depth. And she did leave a five-star rating. So thank you so much for that, home girl. And so she says, I love the podcast and the fact that it incorporates God into it. Period, baby. Definitely worth listening to. And you are down to earth and doesn't want anything from us more than just to heal. Thank God for using you. Deshae K. Let me tell you, baby, yes. That is what we do here. We heal, we grow, we evolve together. We be true to ourselves because a lot of times people aren't true to themselves during the healing journey. And a lot of times we don't see people being true to themselves. We don't see people who show us the real when it comes to healing. And so I just thank God for using me to be that vessel that's able to show you, hey, that the healing journey, you have ups and downs like you. You're going to sway left. You're going to sway right. You're going to go up. You're going to go down. But in the end, it's all going to be OK. And so I thank you so much, homegirl, for that amazing review. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for finding value in the Girl Just Heal podcast. And let's continue to heal, grow and evolve together, homegirl. So y'all already know what time it is now. 
y'all, baby, it is time for the most favorite part of the episodes. And I'm so excited, so ready. So get your singing voice on because, baby, what? It is time for the prayer cause. Prayer cause. It is time for the prayer cause. Prayer cause. Hey, hey, prayer cause. Prayer cause. Hey, 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 hey. It is time for the prayer cards, y'all. It is time to get our word in. Let's see. Let's see what God is saying to us today. Yes, Lord. I am so ready. I'm so ready. Do y'all be ready for these prayer cards like me? Because y'all favorite homegirl be ready, honey. All right. So our scripture for today comes from John chapter 15, verse 12. And it says, this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Mm. Whew. I'm going to read that again. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. And I know Jesus is speaking in this, but we're going to go to another translation in the Bible. Let's go to Amplify. We're already in Amplify. So no, we're in New Living Translation. So we're going to do New Living Translation. And that is John chapter 15, verse 12. And it says in the New Living Translation version, it says, this is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. My goodness. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. So now let's go to Amplified. Let's get a little more Amplified. So Amplified John chapter 15 verse 12 says, this is my commandment that you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another, just as I have loved you. My God, my God. Listen, wait, we got to read that again and amplify it. This is my commandment that you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another, just as I have loved you. I want you to just sit with this scripture and I want you to just reflect and I want you to just think about if you are unselfishly seeking the best for people that are in your life, for people that are in your circle, like just just sit and just let's have a moment of self-reflection because so often and, and I'm putting we it's a we thing here. So often we do not do that. We don't seek the best for one another. If somebody cross you, the last thing you're trying to do is seek the best for them. The last thing you, you care about is them having the best of anything when they cross you. But that's not the heart of Jesus. And one of the things that I've been praying for is to have the mind of Christ And the heart of Jesus, I want to make sure in everything that I do, I am doing things the right way to the best of my ability. Of course, I can't do things exactly like Jesus because I'm not Jesus. You know, like none of us are perfect in that way. But I I plan and and I desire to model my life after Christ so much that I'm being very intentional that my ways align with his ways. Even though I'm not going to ever be on his level, I'm not going to ever be able to do things that Jesus did. I'm, I'm still going to fall sometimes. Sometimes I may have a thought that's like, I don't want the best for a person, but I pray that off of me. And, and I make sure that I continue to seek Jesus face and keep my heart posture in a way that mimics what John 15, 12 says. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. So go ahead, bookmark that scripture. Make sure that you bookmark in that scripture. Go back and read it. I love the book of John so much. We were actually in the book of John for, I think it was a couple episodes ago. And it was this same chapter, John chapter 15. And we were talking about the pruning. So John is such a wonderful book to read. Um, I love the book of John. Okay. And we are going to be doing a Bible study on the book of John in Patreon soon. So if you have not joined the homegirl lounge and you want to get in on that Bible study, then go ahead and join the homegirl lounge so that you don't miss out on this Bible study on the book of John. It is so I'm talking about the book of John just got so much beneficial information in all books of the Bible, but the book of John is really one of my favorite books of the Bible. Um, And I think, For me, a lot of the books of the Bible where Jesus is speaking is my favorite because I'm like, yeah, my Lord and Savior is talking to me like "Mm -mm, I don't want to hear nothing. Nobody got to say, y'all wait, let my Lord and Savior talk to me. Let me hear what he is saying to me. So um, 
again, if you want to join that Bible study, head over to patreon.com slash girl just heal so that you can get in on that homegirl Bible study here soon. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the episode. And for today's episode, y'all, when I tell y'all that, okay, so I did an episode a couple episodes ago, your pruning is necessary. And when I opened up that episode, I was talking about Patreon. And I was talking about just the journey of me going when I started Patreon and how that all unfolded. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and listen to that episode because I went in depth about Patreon. I went in depth about how God sat it on me, you know, to do Patreon. When I first stepped into doing Patreon, it was some tea. Let me just tell you, baby, I, I did give you the tea. It was some tea too. It. I was very open, very honest, very transparent. So you don't want to miss that. Um, but as I ended the episode and was editing it, and even like these weeks later after the episode, I'm like, this is still sitting on me. The whole process of the Patreon, because that's the first time I had opened up about the process of me starting a Patreon. And so I'm like, this is sitting on me kind of heavy, guy. Like, I don't know, like, I, I am I supposed to do something else with this? And so I'm telling you, it from the time I woke up when I was going to sleep, this was just sitting on me. And I'm like, okay, I got to cover this in an episode because it's not going to be sitting on me this heavy if I'm not supposed to go and talk a little more and say a little more about this. And so just a little bit of an overview um, of what I was saying in that episode to kind of like give you the context for this episode is I was just talking about how when I first started Patreon, I was only doing it because somebody else was doing it. And then I went into the whole like, you know, just 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 the more if you want to know more about it, go and read the ep- uh, go and listen to the episode. And so for me, as I stated in the episode, when I first started Patreon, I was only doing it because it was trending. I was only doing it because everybody else was doing it. It seemed like every podcast that would come across my YouTube, they were talking about go and join their Patreon. And I'm just like, OK, I feel a little left out. Like we have been doing Girl Just Heal for, you know, almost a year at that time when I was starting the Patreon. And I'm like, I feel a little left out. So I need to start a Patreon. But as y'all know from that episode, the Patreon didn't go like I thought it was going to go at that time. And so God kind of like sat me down and chastised me and revealed to me that I was only doing something because other people were doing it and because it was trending. And this has been sitting heavy on me because I know that there are so many people So many of us, so many of you that's listening to this right now, who God has given you business ideas, God has given you an assignment, God has given you things that he wants you to do, and you can't move forward and do those things because you are trying to do it how somebody else is doing it. And you fail to realize that you can be in the same market as somebody, right? So if we just look at, we look at people who got podcasts because that's the market that I'm in. People, it's so many podcasts. I'm talking about if you go to whatever podcast hosting platform you want to, and you you can find a podcast on almost anything this day and age, right? Any topic, any category, like you can just find a slew of podcasts. So that is a very saturated market. It's a lot of people that's doing podcasts. If God has given you the idea to do a podcast, you can do it. But here's a problem. Here's where the problem comes in there. You will never be able to be successful at doing something if you are mimicking everything you are doing off of somebody else. If you have, say you have a couple of podcasts that you look to for inspiration and then you like, oh my goodness, I love how she is doing this, 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 this. So I am going to, when I start my podcast, do this, 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 this. Baby, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but I got to keep it real raw, honest and regular with you. You are going to flop. You are going to fail so quick because you are not seeking God for your assignment that he gave you. You are not seeking God for the business idea that he has given to you. You can't go and take what somebody else is doing and then think you're going to apply it to what you are doing and think God is going to bless it. And now you're going to be so successful. God is going to just open up the windows of heaven and make you successful on somebody else's assignment on what somebody else is doing. No, it is enough room and enough space for you 
in whatever lane God has called you to, but the what's going to set you apart and make you unique in your field, in your oversaturated market, whatever it is that you are doing, what's going to make you unique is that you are taking your idea to God and asking him to bless it. Lord, give me what you want me to say. Give me how you want me to do it. Give me the content, how you want me to deliver the content. Because honestly, and I've talked about this in previous episodes, um, I'm not sure which episodes, but I've talked about this a couple of times, how when I first started Girl Just Heal, I was not necessarily looking at any other podcast to do like how they were doing, but I didn't fully tune in to how God wanted me to deliver Girl Just Heal. And so I was kind of afraid to step into the territory anyway, because I had a podcast before and I was trying to do Girl Just Heal how I did my very first podcast. It didn't work because my very first podcast, I would write notes. And when I tell you, it was like it, it almost felt like somebody had me locked up when I was doing that first podcast, because I, the best way I can explain it is I felt so constrained. I felt like I was in handcuffs because I wasn't freely able to flow in that podcast, how God has anointed me and blessed me to flow. And so when I first was starting Girl Just Heal, this is just when I was in the recording phases. I hadn't even released an episode. I was trying to get my groove, trying to see how I was going to do episodes. And I never forget I had my my Google Docs open and I was writing down. I was like opening. Um, this is what I'll say here. This is what I'm going to say here. I'm going to have a closing segment. I'm going to do all of this. This is what I'm going to do. And when I tell y'all that did not work, baby, I went as far as buying a teleprompter and I was like, oh, we're going to get these episodes out. I'm going to say everything that I feel I need to say at that point and we're going to get them out. And there I was sitting there reading, feeling so robotic because I was trying to do something how I felt like was the best way, but I didn't seek God first. And so once I just, it was like something I, I felt at that time when I was trying to do Girl Just Heal and I was doing a teleprompter and a Google Doc and all of that. I still felt that heaviness that I felt with my first podcast. I still felt th the chains and the cuffs on me. And I just was like, Lord, Nope, I'm giving this to you. How am I supposed to do this? How is Girl Just Heal supposed to look? I'm afraid. I ain't never did it before, but I know that you have equipped me to be able to just flow, to be able to just talk, to be able to turn this camera on, get in front of this mic, and I'm just going to go and go until you tell me to stop, until you finish dropping things in my spirit. And so once I gave it back to God, that is when he was able to bless Girl Just Heal in a way that has been just amazing. And if you've been here for a long time, baby, you know how much God has had his hand in Girl Just Heal. But I was only able to get to this point and get in my lane and stay in my lane because I gave it back to God. Like I sought God first and in every area of my life, homegirls, God has been really on me about seeking him first because I haven't been doing that. And even though I thought I had been doing that, I really have not been doing that intentionally. I've not been doing that consistently. OK, I have not been seeking God consistently. And God has really been showing me that I need to seek him in everything, in all my ways and just everything that I do. Seek God first. Seek first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33. Y'all know I'm going to throw that scripture out every chance I get because it's my favorite scripture of all times. But I wasn't doing that. And so I just said all of that to encourage you and to just say when you have an idea, when God has given you something, when you feel like, you know, God, I want to, you know, step out in this territory. I want you to bless this. You have to seek God for yourself. You cannot be doing something just because everybody else is doing it. You should not be doing something just because it's trending. Oh, this trending. So I'm about to hop on this because if you just think about it, say you do something that's trending and say, you know, starting a podcast is trending and you say, I'm going to start a podcast just because it's trending. How are you going to continue this podcast? Like, how are you going to keep it up? 
What is your plan? Like all of these things you have to take into consideration when you are doing anything. And this is something that a, a lot of homegirls have been asking me about this. I am going to release something on Patreon soon, just getting more in depth about this because honestly, a lot of people are ready to start a podcast. A lot of people don't know how, they don't know when, they don't know what. But I'm just going to give you this little snippet and give you this little little nugget, okay? Um, when you are starting anything, or in this case, if you want to start a podcast, you need to take it to God. Because anybody can buy a mic, anybody can talk, anybody can do all of the things, right? Like, we all can get cameras, we all can get microphones, we all can get audio interfaces. Like, we all can get all of this stuff to make it come to fruition to do a podcast but that is not enough you just getting the equipment don't mean you're going to be successful at it because you can sit down and you can record and you can do all these things no you have to have a plan you have to have something that is encouraging you and pushing you to keep on going and if this is the lane that God has called you in seeking him first is going to help you continue in this field for like it's going to be longevity attached to it basically. And so I just wanted to come and I just wanted to give you this word because it was just so heavy on me. And I want to encourage you that if you are starting anything, any business, it's not even just specific to podcasts. I just use podcasts because that's the lane that I'm in. It's not specific to podcasts. If you are starting any kind of business, if God has laid anything on your heart to start, you need to consult God first and don't look at other people. It's okay. Let me say this. It's okay for you to be inspired by other people. I have so many homegirls who tell me, Nemoya, you have inspired me so much. You've inspired me to start a podcast. That is so amazing. I am so happy that I was able to ignite a fire inside of you. It is okay for you to be inspired by other people to start something, but don't let that inspiration be the only thing that you have to hold on to when you are starting it. No, have it. You can have an inspiration and then you take it to God and you say, okay, God, I was inspired by Girl Just Healed to do this podcast, but I wanted to look how you wanted to look. So what do I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to start? What, like, I don't know what lane am I supposed to be in? Just make sure that you are not doing something because it's trending or you are not doing something just because somebody else is doing it because there is a lane for you. I am a firm believer that there is a set amount of people in this world that you are called to. You just have to do that work and listen to God and seek him to find out where your lane at, to find out what it is that you are supposed to be doing. And I would just encourage you to just seek God and let God really just like let God blow your mind. Let God lead you in the territory where he wants you to be at and let him just spearhead whatever it is that you are doing. So that is all I have for this episode. I pray that this episode blessed you so, so much. And if it did, just drop me a comment down in the comments of this episode and just let me know how much it blessed you. Um, if you have any questions about this episode, because this is a topic that I mean it can go on and on if you have any questions you need any clarity it was something I said in this episode you ain't understand drop me a comment down in the comment section and I will be sure to dialogue with you and try to get you the answers to the best of my ability so I really hope this episode blessed you that is all we have for this episode so we're gonna close out with the girl just held mantra and y'all know how we're gonna do it we're gonna take a deep breath in and out and that is just releasing all of the cares of this week, today, yesterday, last week, last month. And together we're going to drop in and repeat the Girl Just Heal mantra. So the Girl Just Heal mantra is, I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. 
So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm your favorite homegirl, Nimoya Bazin. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast. Be sure to connect with us on social media at Girl Just Heal. And if you need an extra dose of support during your healing journey, join our private Facebook community where we can continue to heal, grow, and evolve together.